Hello and welcome back to Megzone. Previously we have finished with the chapter on matrices and determinants and now we shall be starting with the chapter on numerical methods. So before starting this chapter I would simply like to request you that if you have not subscribed to channel yet, then subscribe to our channel subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that if there is any important update, you can notify it first. So let us start with the chapter on numerical methods okay so in the numerical method the first thing that we have to study is the triangulization triangulization of matrices okay so this is nothing but it is actually a method of factorization is a method of factorization <clears throat> and we have already studied that there are two types of matrices one is the upper triangular matrix and one is the lower triangular matrix in the upper triangular matrix the elements which are lying below the leading diagonal are zero and in the lower triangular matrix the elements which are lying above the principal diagonal or the main diagonal are zero now what we are going to do is simply we have been given the equation like a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 this is equals to b1 a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus a23 x3 is equals to b2 a31 x1 plus a32 x2 plus a33 x3 this is equals to b3 so this equation has been given and it is actually in the form of ax is equals to b okay where x is nothing but this is x1 x2 x3 b is b1 b2 b3 or if i write it in the matrix form i have a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a3 3 then x1 x2 x3 this is equals to b1 b2 b3 so this is actually the representation of the above equation in the matrix form now what we will do is we will break the matrix a into a product of the upper lower and the upper triangular matrix okay where the lower triangular matrix we are having the elements above the principal diagonal are 0 so 0 0 0 this term we are taking as 1 the diagonal elements are being considered as 1 this is L21 L31 L32 okay so in this lower triangular matrix the unknown elements are L21 L31 and L32 and in the upper triangular matrix the elements which are lying below the leading diagonal are 0 so 0 0 0 and this term will be taken as u11 this is u12 this is u13 u22 u23 and this is u33 so in the upper triangular matrix the unknown elements are u11 u12 u13 u22 u23 and u33 so we have l into u into x is equals to b because we have broken a is equals to l into u okay so our first aim is that we will take ux is equals to y okay we will first solve for ux is equals to y and then ly is equals to b first step will be this and the second step will be this okay so let us suppose that for this case where y is actually equals to y1 y2 and y3 okay so if ux is equals to y u means this and x simply means x1 x2 and x3 say say hum multiply kar denge. so uh, we will have u11 u12 u13 0 0 sorry 0 uh, u22 u23 
zero zero and u three three we will multiply this with x one x two x three and we will obtain y one y two y three so after multiplying i will write the equation u one one x one plus u one two x two plus u one three x3 this is equals to y1 then we have u22 x2 plus u23 x3 this is equals to y2 and u33 x3 is equals to y3 now we will apply the backward substitution backward substitution and backward substitution hum apply karenge or now we will for uh, move forward to find the value of the lower triangular matrix we ko use karenge hum log that is lower triangular matrix into the upper triangular matrix is equals to a to jo lower triangular matrix tha hamara 1 0 0 1 2 1 1 0 1 3 1 1 3 2 1 this multiplied by U one one, U one two, U one three, zero, U two two, U two three, zero zero, U three three. This is equals to A, which is A one one, A one two, A one three, A two one, A two two, A two three, A three one, A three two, A three three. Okay. So from these equations. we will multiply the matrices on the left and equating the corresponding elements on both the sides we will obtain u11 is equals to a11 u12 is equals to a12 u13 is equals to a13 ye hame directly mil jayega fir uske baad l21 u11 is equals to a21 so yahan se l21 ki value nikal aayegi a21 upon u11 and l21 into u 1 2 is equals to u sorry sorry l u 1 plus u 1 2 plus l u 2 2 this is equals to a 2 2 so yahan se hum u 2 2 ki value nikalenge that is a 2 2 minus l 2 1 u 1 2 then we have l 3 1 u 1 3 plus u 2 3 is equals to a 2 3 so like this we can find out the values of l 2 One L three one L three two U one one U one two U one three U two two U two three and U three three. ऐसे करके हम लोग एक-एक करके सारी values अपनी हम लोग calculate कर लेंगे. Okay? तो यहाँ पर variables से हम इसको solve करके अपना answer निकाल सकते हैं. तो ये तो था हमारा triangulation method. So that this method of triangulation is called as the do littles method. okay this is called as the do littles method of triangulation however we have a very similar method which is very uh, having something very much in common with this do little method and that is called as the crowds triangulation method crowds triangulation method the only difference between the do little and the crowds is that in case of the crowd we take the lower triangular matrix as l11 0 0 0 l22 L three one, L three two, L three three, and the upper triangular matrix is taken as one, U one two, U one three, zero, one, U two three, and uh, this term would be zero zero one. So यहाँ पे बस हमारा जो difference है, it is only in taking the lower and the upper triangular matrix, जो कि हमारा डू लिटल से थोड़ा बहुत डिफर कर जाएगा सो दीज मेथड आर कॉल्ड एज द डू लिटल एंड द क्राउड ट्राइंगलाइजेशन मेथड ओके सो नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द गॉस एलिमिनेशन मेथड एज द नेम सजेस्ट द गॉस एलिमिनेशन मेथड सिंपली रेफर्स टू द एलिमिनेशन ऑफ वन ऑफ द अदर एलिमेंट्स एंड रिड्यूसिंग द सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेजन टू द अपर ट्राइंगुलर matrix system so what we are doing is we are simply removing or simply eliminating the elements and we are reducing the equations to the upper triangular matrix form now what i will do is i will simply solve a question based on this gauss elimination 
and from there we will also learn this system. So if we have been given 2x plus y plus z is equals to 10, 3x plus 2y plus 3z is equals to 18 and x plus 4y plus 9z is equals to 16. Now this is the system of equation that has been given to us and we have to solve it by using the Gauss elimination method. Now what we will do is we will first try to eliminate x and in order to eliminate x we will use these upper two equations. Okay, so in order to eliminate x what we will do is we will first multiply the first equation by minus 3 by 2. Is well equation ko minus 3 by 2 se agar humne multiply kar diya. <coughs> so what we will get? We will get 1 upon 2y plus 3 upon 2z is equals to 3. Okay. And multiply karne ke baad isko hume kis mein add kar dena hai. And we have to add it to the second equation. So ye result kab aayega? This is equation number 1, equation number 2, equation number 2. 3. We have to multiply equation number 2 by minus 3 by 2 and we have to add it to equation number sorry equation 1 ko multiply karke usko equation 2 mein add karenge to ye result aa gaya hamare paas. Thik hai? Now what we will do is we will try to eliminate x from the these two equations. So what we will do is we will simply uh, what uh, hum kya karenge? We will multiply the first equation by minus 1 by 2 and we will add it to the third equation. So the results that will be obtained will be yes you will obtain 7 by 2y plus 17 by 2z is equals to 11. So this result is obtained when we are multiplying equation 1 by minus half and we are adding it to the third equation. Now by using these two equations, we can see that there are only two variables y and z, y and z. So we will simultaneously solve them and after simultaneously solving them, we will obtain the value of z equals to 5 and y equals to minus 9. And consecutively, the value of x can also be found out. And if you will calculate the value of x is coming out to be 7. So what we are doing here is we are simply eliminating one of the elements that is either x or y or z from the equations by taking two equations at a, at a time and then we are forming mainly two equations and these two equations will be solved simultaneously and after simultaneous solution we will obtain the values of x, y and z. Okay, now we will do an important question which was asked in gate and the question was with a one unit change in B with a one unit change in B what is the change in X what is the change in X in the solution of the system in the solution of the system of equations x plus y is equals to 2 and 1.01x plus 0.99y is equals to b okay so these two equations has to be solved now what we will do is we know how to solve these two simultaneous equations we will simply either we can eliminate x or we can eliminate y for example, the value of x from this equation would be 2 minus y. We will keep this value here and we will get the value of y. Or what we can do is we can even eliminate y also. So what we will do is we will multiply this equation by 0 0.99. Okay. And we will subtract it from the second equation. So what we will obtain 1 minus 0 1.01 minus 0 0.99x is equals to b minus 2 into 0 0.99 now here we will obtain 0 0.02 x is equals to b minus 1.98 so x would be b upon 0 0.02 minus 1.98 divided by 0 0.02 now we have been given that with one unit change in b 
that means b is changing by one unit that means we have been given delta b or simply db so we can write dx is simply nothing but uh, db upon 0.02 okay and if we will differentiate this it will be cancelled because this is a constant number so dx upon db would be simply equals to 1 upon 0 0.02 and this is coming out to be 50 so there will be a change of 50 units when there is a change of one unit in b okay so this question was asked in mechanical gate 2005 for two marks and this is very easy question bahut zyada isme tough nahi tha sirf aur sirf aapko ek bar simultaneous equation lagana uske baad aapko simply solve kar dena hai aur hamare answer aa jayega okay now we will discuss about some iterative methods iterative methods mein dekhiye bahut zyada hame बहुत ज्यादा इसमें टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करना टाइम वेस्ट इसलिए नहीं करना क्योंकि बीटेक लेवल पे हमारे पास एग्जामिनेशंस में पूछा जाता है होम एग्जामिनेशन में बीटेक के क्योंकि काफी लेंदी हो जाता है तो पांच सात नंबर का सवाल बना दिया जाता है लेकिन गेट में ये सब पूछने का कोई भी सेंस नहीं बनता क्योंकि बहुत ज्यादा लेंदी है लेकिन इनको समझना इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि ये हमारे एम लेवल में हमें काम आएगा ठीक है अगर कोई एम करना जाता है इसके बाद बीटेक के बाद इफ ही और शी ऑप्ट फॉर एम तो वहां पर हमें ये चीजें जरूरत पड़ सकती है सो वॉट आई विल डू इज आई विल सिंपली सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन करस्पॉन्डिंग टू दीज टू मेथड दैट इज वी हैव जकोबी एंड गॉस सीडल मेथड्स दीज आर इटरेटिव मेथड इटरेटिव मतलब हमें कई सारे स्टेप्स में इन्हें सॉल्व करना पड़ता है ठीक है कई सारे इटरेशन करने पड़ेंगे तब जाके हमें आंसर मिलेगा so i am taking a question say 2x plus y plus z is equals to 10 3x plus 2y plus 3z is equals to 18 and x plus 4y plus 9z is equals to 16 we have to solve both uh, we have to solve the same equation or same question by means of gauss elimination and Jacobi method. <clears throat> so what I will do is I will simply make a table or I will illustrate how to solve these two equations. But we have to remember one thing that in case of Jacobi, old values are used. Old values are used. Whereas in case of Gauss-Seidel, Gauss-Seidel method, new values are used. Okay, so old values are used in Jacobi method, whereas new values are used in gauss seidel method. Now, what we will do is, in this equation, if we have to find out x, then x would be simply 10 minus y minus z whole upon 2. And in the second equation, y can be equals to 18 minus 3x minus 3z whole upon 2. And in the third equation, if z has to be made as the subject, then this would be equals to 16 minus x minus 4 y upon 9. Okay. So now I will compare the Jacobi and the gauss seidel method. And I will show you how these old and the new values concept is used here. I will again write down x is equals to 10 minus y minus z upon 2 y is equals to 18 minus 3x minus 3z upon 2 and z is equals to 16 minus x minus 4y upon 9. Now in the Jacobi method since these are iteration methods or iterative types of methods so we will take iteration number value of x value of y value of z Okay, now in the zeroth iteration, what we will assume that the value of x, y, and z both all are zero. So, yaha result kya aega? Result would be kuch nahi aega result. Thik hai? Ab hum apna first iteration karenge. First iteration jab humne kiya, <coughs> to humne kya kiya? Is wal equation mein, we will put y is equals to zero and z is equals to zero. So, y and z both equals to zero, x value would be five. 
and in this equation we kept x is equals to 0 z is equals to 0 so answer coming out to be y is 9 and similarly for z we are having 16 by 9 how have we obtained this we have obtained it by putting x is equals to 0 y is equals to 0 z is equals to 0 this is in equation this is equation number 1 equation number 2 equation number 3 so this was equation number 1 this has been put in equation number 2 and this in equation number 3 so this is our second iteration now second iteration use karenge. The second iteration that or Jacobi I have told you in case of Jacobi old values are used old values are used for example in this equation now we will keep y as 9 and z as 16 by 9 so when we put this we will obtain the value as 0 0.39 minus 0 0.39 now this we will put old value use now in this we will use old value use by here we are putting x is equals to 5 y is uh, so z is equals to 16 by 9 so value here that will be obtained is minus 1.17 or yeah z nikal nikali we will use this equation and we will put y is equals to 9 x is equals to 5 so answer here is coming out to be 2.78 so ye values humne kithini bar iteration apna chalaya do bar iteration chalaya However, ये CS के computer programming बना कर भी हम लोग कर सकते हैं कि loop चलाते जाएंगे and values हमें obtain होती जाएंगी but ध्यान कर रखना है old values ही हमें consider करनी है okay so this was about Jacobi method now we will solve it by cos Seidel method okay now this is iteration number value of x value of y value of z okay and here we have the result okay now for the zeroth iteration 0 0 0 ठीक है कुछ नहीं हुआ first iteration में we will keep x uh, in this equation we will keep y is equals to 0 and z is equals to 0 so the value of x will come out to be 5 now in this equation the value of x will be kept as 5 and the value of z will be kept as 0. So when we will solve we will get y as 1.5. Okay. So now in this equation the value of x will be kept as 5. The value of y will be kept as 1.5 and we will find out what is z. So z would come out to be 0 0.555 so we have kept x is equals to, sorry y is equals to 0 z is equals to 0 in equation number 1 we have kept z is equals to 0 and x is equals to 5 in equation number 2 and we have kept x is equals to 5 and y is equals to 1.5 in equation number 3 okay so we have obtained the results as follows now what we will do is we will go for another iteration okay we will go for another iteration and now for for second time the value of x can be calculated only from this equation but we will keep y equals to 1.5 and z would be equals to 0 0.55 so the value of x is coming out to be 3.9725 okay similarly the value of y will be obtained by using this equation such that we will keep the value of x as this 3.9725 and the value of z will be kept equals to 0 0.55 okay so we will obtain here 2.209 and similarly this would be 0 0.3546 okay so this is the basic difference between Jacobi and the Gauss Seidel method in case of Jacobi we are using the old values but in case of the Gauss Seidel we are not using the old values but rather we are using the new values of the variables and uh, this has been seen कि जो रेट ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस है कन्वर्जेंस का मतलब जो हमारा सॉल्यूशन जो सबसे पहले जो आएगा तो ये हमारा देखा गया है कि रेट ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस जो हमारा है गॉस सिडल और जकोबी का दोनों का अलग होता है ठीक है और जो हमारा गॉस सिडल मेथड का जो 
हमारा कन्वर्जेंस रेट है दिस इज टू टाइम्स एज कंपेयर टू द जकोबी मेथड सो रेट ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस इज टू टाइम्स एज कंपेयर टू द रेट ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ जकोबी तो रेट ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ गॉस सिडल मतलब जो गॉस सिडल में हमारा सोल्यूशन आएगा वो दुगनी तेजी से हमारा सोल्यूशन ट्रू वैल्यू की तरफ कन्वर्ट कर जाएगा ठीक है तो ये हो गया हमारा गॉस सिडल एंड जकोबी मेथड ये तो था हमारा इटरेटिव मेथड से हम लोग कैसे इसको सॉल्व करेंगे नाउ नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद दी अनदर सेक्शन नाउ वी सम मोर मेथड बाई विच वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द equations so before proceeding with that i would simply like to tell you some important points regarding your equations and how you can determine what type of solution will be obtained without actually calculating the equation parameters now this is very very important and now we will study how to to determine the nature of roots the roots that will be obtained what is going to be there nature so the first point is if the coefficients are all positive okay for example we have x to the power of 5 plus x cube plus 2x plus 1 this is equals to 0 it simply states that all the coefficients are positive okay and if this is so then the equation has no positive root agar sare ke sare coefficient positive hai to equation ka koi bhi root positive नहीं हो सकता ठीक है सो दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट विच इज टू बी नोटेड हियर नाउ द सेकंड इज इफ द कोफिशंट ऑफ द इवन पावर्स आर ऑल ऑफ वन साइन एंड द कोफिशंट ऑफ ऑड पावर्स आर ऑल द कॉन्ट्ररी साइंस मतलब इवन पावर्स कौन सी होगी जैसे मान लीजिए एक्स की पावर सेवन प्लस एक्स टू दावर फाइव माइनस टू एक्स टू दावर ऑफ फोर प्लस एक्स क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस सेवन एक्स माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो ना इफ द कोफिशन ऑफ इवन पावर ऑफ एक्स आर ऑफ वन साइन इवन पावर मतलब एक्स टू दावर फोर एक्स टू दावर टू इनके साइन क्या है नेगेटिव है ठीक है एंड द साइन ऑफ द ऑड पावर्स आर ऑपोजिट टू दैट ऑफ द इवन पावर्स मतलब यहां पर ये क्या है साइन पॉजिटिव ये क्या है साइन पॉजिटिव यहां पर भी पॉजिटिव यहां पर भी पॉजिटिव सो so, यहां हम लोग देख रहे हैं कि इवन पावर्स जो हैं, इवन पावर्स हैव आर हैविंग द कोफिशियंट एज नेगेटिव वेर एज ऑड पावर्स आर हैविंग द कोफिशियंट एज पॉजिटिव सो इफ दिस इज बी द इफ दिस बी द केस देन द इक्वेजन हैज नो नेगेटिव रूट देन इक्वेजन हैज नो नेगेटिव रूट्स ठीक है तो इक्वेजन विल हैव नो नेगेटिव रूट द थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज दैट इफ द इक्वेजन कंटेन्स ओनली इवन पावर्स ऑफ एक्स एंड ऑल द कोफिशंट आर ऑफ द सेम साइन देन द इक्वेजन हैज नो रियल रूट मतलब ऑल पावर्स आर इवन फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू एक्स टू दावर ऑफ एट प्लस थ्री एक्स टू दावर ऑफ फोर प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर Plus seven is equals to zero. Now this contains only the even powers of x, and all the coefficients are having the positive sign. So this will have no real root. यहाँ पर आपको कोई भी real root नहीं मिलेगा. Imaginary roots मिलेंगे, and imaginary roots always occur in conjugate pairs. मतलब अगर a हो जाएगा a plus iota beta, तो दूसरा हो जाएगा a minus iota beta. These always occurring in conjugate pairs now the fourth important point is that if the equation contains only odd powers of x for example x to the power 9 plus 2x to the power of 5 plus 3x cube plus x is equals to 0 then it is containing only the odd powers of x in such case it will have no real root it will also have no real root except zero here we will have only one real root and that is zero okay now we will learn some methods of solving these equations 
and uh, these methods are called as the numerical methods for root finding so root finding is a procedure where we are simply find out finding out the solutions or the roots of the equations so root finding methods okay so the first method is called as the bisection method bisection method the second one is called as the regular falsi regular falsi method or the method of false position this is also called as third one is the secant method and the fourth one is called as the newton rapson newton rapson method so these four methods i will be discussing now the first method that we have to study is the bisection bisection method okay so in case of the bisection method we are having a continuous function say f of x and this is a continuous function between the two points a and b such that f of a and f of b are having opposite signs f of a simply means the value of that function at the point a and f of b means the value of that function at the point b and if this is happening then it simply states that there is at least one root which is lying between the points a and b okay so kam se kam ek root to hamara 100% hoga jo a aur b ke beech mein lie karega okay okay for example hamara jo f of x ek function hai it is going like this so say this is point a and correspondingly we are having the value of f of a and say this point is b and correspondingly we are having the value of the function f of b now since one is having the positive sign other one is having the negative sign so it is cutting at this point and this point is actually the location of the root for the function theek hai to ye point hamara function ka root ka location ban jayega to jo sabse pehla jo hamara root hoga the sabse pehla jo hamara iteration hoga that would be x1 plus x2 upon 2 theek hai x not jo hoga hamara we will calculate it as by sorry x not would be the first root and it would be a plus b upon 2 to a plus b upon 2 karke jo hamara first jo location hoga wo hum determine kar lenge theek hai to x not ki value hame mil chuki hai ab hum nikalenge f of x not maan lijiye yahan pe f of a hamara negative hai f of b hamara पॉजिटिव है तो रूट्स इनके बीच में लाई कर रहा है ठीक है हमने निकाला एफ ऑफ एक्स नॉट अब एफ ऑफ एक्स नॉट भी हमारा मान लीजिए आ गया नेगेटिव तो क्योंकि ये नेगेटिव है अब रूट नेगेटिव और पॉजिटिव फिर इनके बीच में लाई करेगा ठीक है तो मान लीजिए इसकी वैल्यू आई है कोई भी हमारी वैल्यू आ गई तो अब हम जो नेक्स्ट इटरेशन करेंगे वी विल कैरी आउट द इटरेशन बिटवीन दीज टू पॉइंट ओके और ये जो ए और बी पॉइंट होते हैं ये हम रैंडमली खुद ही सेलेक्ट कर सकते हैं हो सकता है हमें क्वेश्चन में दिए हो ठीक है तो हमें आर्बिट्री हिटर एंड ट्रायल ट्रायल से लगाना पड़ेगा कि कौन से पॉइंट्स हमें सेलेक्ट करने हैं फॉर एग्जांपल हमारी इक्वेशन है एक्स क्यूब माइनस एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द रियल रूट बाई यूजिंग द बाइसेक्शन मेथड तो हम क्या करते हैं अगर हम ये हमारा एफ ऑफ एक्स दिया हुआ है अगर हम एफ ऑफ जीरो निकालें तो जगह जीरो माइनस जीरो माइनस वन दिस इज सिंपली माइनस वन नेगेटिव एफ ऑफ वन निकालें तो वन माइनस वन माइनस वन दिस इज ऑल्सो कमिंग आउट टू बी नेगेटिव तो दोनों नेगेटिव नहीं होना चाहिए एक नेगेटिव होना चाहिए एक पॉजिटिव होना चाहिए चलिए एफ ऑफ टू निकाल के देखते हैं तो टू क्यूब इज एट माइनस टू माइनस वन दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी फाइव सो दिस इज पॉजिटिव तो हमारा जो ए हो जाएगा वो हो जाएगा वन और बी जो हो जाएगा दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी टू सच दैट एफ ऑफ ए एंड एफ ऑफ बी आर है ऑपोजिट साइंस सो जो फर्स्ट रूट होगा द फर्स्ट अप्रोक्सीमेशन और द फर्स्ट रूट दैट विल बी यूज हियर एक्स वन सॉरी एक्स जीरो एक्स जीरो वुड बी इक्वल्स टू 
f of sorry x naught would be a plus b upon 2 it is be 1 plus 2 upon 2 3 upon 2 that is 1.5 now we will find out the value of the function at 1.5 so f 1.5 can be written as 1.5 cube minus 1.5 minus 1 okay so the value at so the value of this it will come out to be 15 upon 8 which is a positive value now since this is positive and this was negative now the root will lie between 1 and 15 upon 8 the value of 15 upon 8 uh, kitta jayega ye hamara okay 1 and 1.5 ke beech mein lie kar jayega hamara first root so अब क्योंकि पहला रूट तो सॉरी पहला रूट तो हमने देख लिया 1 और 2 के बीच में लाई करेगा तो 1 और 2 के बीच में लाई करेगा तो उसके करस्पोंडिंग हमने वैल्यू निकाल ली वो आ गई हमारी 1.5 मतलब इन दोनों के सेंटर पे ठीक है बाइसेक्शन मतलब इनका सेंटर ले लिया तो आगे 1.5 1.5 की करस्पोंडिंग वैल्यू आ रही पॉजिटिव अब पॉजिटिव ये है और नेगेटिव ये है तो डेफिनेटली ऑपोजिट साइंस के होने चाहिए तो नेक्स्ट जो हमारा इटरेशन कोना है वो 1 और 1.5 के बीच में लेंगे सो x1 वुड बी 1 1.5 डिवाइडेड बाय 2 and this is coming out to be 1.25 so f of 1.25 this is coming out to be negative so if it is negative hai, it simply means now the root will lie between 1.25 and 1.5 because it is corresponding negative and it is corresponding positive tha. so x2 would be 1.25 plus 1.5 divided by so this is 1.375 ठीक है और प्रोसीजर हम लोग इसी तरीके से रिपीट करते रहेंगे तो x3 जब निकालेंगे x3 will come out to be 1.3125 x4 is coming out to be 1.34375 x5 is 1.328125 अब क्वेश्चन आता है कितने तक हम लोग इटरेट करेंगे कब तक चलता रहेगा तो एक सिंपल सा आंसर है मिनिमम तीन तो करने ही पड़ेंगे ठीक है तीन तक तो आपको जाने ही पड़ सकता है ओके सो दिस वाज अबाउट द बाइसेक्शन मेथड ओके सो दैट वाज अबाउट द बाइसेक्शन मेथड एंड नाउ वी विल डू द रेगुलर फाल्सी मेथड सो इन दिस मेथड वी आर नॉट कंसीडरिंग द एग्जैक्ट सेंटर रादर द फर्स्ट or the generalized root x of n plus 1 is equals to fn x of n minus 1 minus f of n minus 1 xn upon f of n minus f of n minus 1. So this is the generalized formula that we will be using to find out the first root. For example, if n is equals to 0, then x1 would be equals to f of 0 x of minus 1 minus f of minus 1 x of 0 upon f of 0 minus f of minus 1. So by putting the value of n these roots can be simply evaluated and x2 can be written as f1 x0 minus f0 x1 upon f1 minus f0. So this is also this method also involves the two initial guesses that is x0 and x1 for the root that we have just done in the bisection method such that f of x0 into f of x1 should be less than 0. Matlab, the signs should be different. Okay. So the iteration formula for the regular falsi method is quite different from that of the bisection but the process is almost the same. So this is the by say, oh, iteration method or the iteration formula that we will be using here. Now, after the regular falsi method, we have the secant method. We have the secant method. Now, the difference between the secant and the regular falsi method is only that the f of x0 and f of x1 need not to be less than 0. Matlab, ye zaruri nahi hai ki negative ho. So, this is not necessary iska seedhe seedhe uh, matlab ye nikalta hai ki x0 and x1 the two guesses will be taken in such a way that the 
प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स जीरो एंड एफ ऑफ एक्स वन मे नॉट बी नेगेटिव और मतलब ऐसा जरूर नहीं कि नेगेटिव ही होना चाहिए इन दोनों का प्रोडक्ट पॉजिटिव भी हो सकता है हाईवर द इटरेशन फॉर्मूला इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम एक्स ऑफ एन प्लस वन इज इक्व टू एफ एन एक्स ऑफ एन माइनस वन माइनस एफ ऑफ एन माइनस वन एक्स एन अपॉन एफ ऑफ एन माइनस एफ ऑफ एन माइनस वन दिस इज द इटरेशन फॉर्मूला दैट वी विल बी यूजिंग फॉर द सीकेंड मेथड नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मेथड दैट इज द न्यूटन रैपसन द न्यूटन रैपसन मेथड ओके सो इन दिस न्यूटन रैपसन मेथड द जनरल इटरेशन फॉर्मूला एक्स ऑफ एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स एन माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स एन अपॉन एफ डैश एक्स एन दिस विल बी द इटरेशन फॉर्मूला विच विल बी जनरली यूज इन केस ऑफ दिस न्यूटन रैपसन मेथड नाउ फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी हैव एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स ऑफ जीरो माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स जीरो अपॉन एफ डैश एक्स जीरो so this is called as the newton raphson's first root and this is the general iterative formula this is the general iterative formula now i will do a question which is based upon the newton raphson method and we will see how this newton raphson can be used but before going to that i would tell you the order bisection method the order is 1 regular falsi the order is 1 secant method the order is 1.62 but the newton raphson method gives the best results and hence the order is 2 okay so sabse best hamara yahan par newton raphson method hota hai whereas bisection and regular falsi are almost the same and that is why we are generally preferring न्यूटन रैपसन मेथड तो अगर कोई भी मेथड आपको नहीं दिया हुआ है तो यू कैन डेफिनेटली यूज द न्यूटन रैपसन मेथड और यू कैन यूज बाई सेक्शन या कोई भी लेकिन बेटर रिजल्ट के लिए वी आर ऑलवेज प्रेफरिंग न्यूटन रैपसन मेथड फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव बिन गिवन द क्वेश्चन एक्स क्यूब प्लस फोर एक्स माइनस नाइन इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी हैव टू फॉर्म द इटरेटिव इक्वेजन फॉर न्यूटन रैपसन मेथड बाई यूजिंग दिस इक्वेजन सो वी नो दैट एक्स ऑफ एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स ऑफ एन माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स अपॉन एफ ऑफ एफ डैश एक्स ये एन हो गया ये एन हो गया तो यहां पर जो हमारा एफ ऑफ एक्स है दिस इज सिंपली एक्स क्यूब प्लस फोर एक्स माइनस नाइन है ठीक है एंड एफ डैश एक्स क्या हो जाएगा एफ डैश एक्स वुड बी थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस फोर सो इफ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एक्स जीरो x zero simply means n is equals to zero. So we will have x of or say in general if we are finding out. So ये f of x n है यहाँ पे तो यहाँ भी n लगा लीजिए यहाँ भी n लगा लीजिए ये भी n हो जाएगा. So x of n plus one नहीं zero के लिए नहीं निकालते हैं generally n plus one के निकालेंगे n minus f of x n simply refers to x n cube plus four x n minus nine. Whole divided by and f dash x n is three x n square plus four. So when we will multiply and take the LCM, the answer that will be obtained here will be the final answer is x of n plus one is equals to two x n cube plus nine upon three x n square plus four. so this would be the general iterative equation which will be used for the newton raphson method okay so newton raphson method is a very simple method but hame yahan pe sirf aur sirf iski iterative equation yaad rakhni padegi aur uske basis pe hum log apna answer solve kar sakte hain okay okay now we will discuss another important question which was based on the newton raphson method and it was asked in gate and we have been given x of n plus 1 Is equals to x n upon two plus nine upon eight times x n such that x zero that is the initial iteration is zero point five. So we have to find out the convergence. Okay. So in order to find out the convergence, what we will do is we will keep x plus n x of n plus one 
is equals to x of n which is equals to alpha we will assume it okay now we will keep these values in this equation that is alpha is equals to alpha upon 2 plus alpha upon 8 alpha now we will solve this equation for alpha such that alpha square will be obtained here 9 by 4 so alpha is coming out to be 3 by 2 that is 1.5 and alpha is nothing but it is the convergence or it is the value that the series, series will converge to ठीक है तो सीरीज हमारी कन्वर्ट हो जाएगी कितने पर 1.5 पे सो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट द न्यूटन रैप्सन्स मेथड नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद द न्यूमेरिकल इंटीग्रेशन न्यूमेरिकल इंटीग्रेशन मेथड एंड इन द न्यूमेरिकल इंटीग्रेशन मेथड वी हैव टू डिस्कस थ्री थिंग्स दैट इज ट्रैपेजॉइडल trapezoidal method then we will have simpson's one third method and we have simpson's three eighth method so here the value of n would be one that is it is linear this question has also been asked in gate the value of n in case of trapezoidal is linear okay and in case of the Simpson's one third rule, so Simpson's one third may be our two cases, and that is Simpson one third and Simpson's three eight. Here the value of n is equals to two. N is equals to simply means it is quadratic. And Simpson's one third rule तो ये हो गया. And Simpson's three eighth rule we have n is equals to three that is cubic format. So ये तो general चीज़ है ये जो हमें याद रखना पड़ेगा. Now I will simply tell you the formula because हमें direct formula ही अगर याद रख लें तो भी बहुत है क्योंकि question formula based ही आया है इसके अलावा इस पे कोई भी सवाल अलग से कभी भी नहीं पूछा जाता so इसका जो general formula है x zero से लेके x n y dx this is simply we are evaluating the area under the curves by simple integration this is equals to h by two y naught plus two times y one plus y two up till so on y of n minus 1 plus y n this is the formula for the trapezoidal method this is the formula for trapezoidal method ठीक है ये हो गया हमारा trapezoidal method का formula where h is the step size h है हमारा step size what we are doing here is we are simply evaluating the area under a curve and that curve is actually like this for example this is the curve okay so what we are doing is we are taking limits on this curve like this this is y0 this is y1 this is x is equals to x1 is equals to a this is x2 is equals to b so and this is the h so we are actually evaluating this area thereby approximating this to be as a straight line so we are getting the area under the trapezium and hence it is called as the trapezoidal method this is called as the trapezoidal method so what we will do is we will simply take very very small portions like this then this like this and we will be evaluating the areas of these individual strips or individual small small trapeziums and hence the total area will be evaluated so h by 2 2 times y1 plus y2 up till y of n minus 1 plus y of n now next we have simpson's one third rule in the simpson's one third rule the formula is x0 to xn y dx is equals to h by 3 y 0 plus 4 times y 1 plus y 3 plus y 5 plus y of n minus 1 thak plus 2 times y 2 plus y 4 plus up till y of n minus 2 plus y of n. So, means 4 times odd values. Yaha pe hami hamari odd value values and 2 ke saath a gai even value values ठीक है तो यहाँ पर odd values आ गई यहाँ पर हमारी even values आ गई 
तो ये होता है हमारा सिमसन वन थर्ड रूल एंड तो यहां पर हमारे क्या होते हैं जनरली वी हैव इवन नंबर ऑफ सब इंटरवेल्स इवन नंबर ऑफ सब इंटरवेल्स ऑफ विथ एच ठीक है विथ क्या होती है यहां पे एच हो जाती है एंड नाउ फॉर द सिमसन्स थ्री एर्थ रूल द फॉर्मूला दैट विल बी यूज हेयर इज एक्स जीरो टू एक्स एन वाई डी एक्स दिस विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री एच अपॉन एट वाई जीरो प्लस थ्री टाइम्स वाई वन प्लस थ्री टाइम्स वाई टू प्लस वाई थ्री प्लस वाई थ्री प्लस थ्री टाइम्स वाई फोर प्लस थ्री टाइम्स वाई फाइव प्लस वाई सिक्स प्लस सो ऑन एंड अपटिल वाई ऑफ एन सो दिस इज द जनरल फॉर्मूला फॉर द सिमसन थ्री एथ रूल नाउ आई विल बी सॉल्विंग वन क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आस्ट इन द प्रीवियस गेट पेपर एंड दिस इज डिपेंडेंट और दिस इज एक्चुअली बेस्ड ऑन सिमसन वन थर्ड रूल ओके वी हैव बीन गिवन द इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू फोर एक्स टू दावर फोर प्लस टेन डी एक्स we have to find out the magnitude of the error in the estimation of the following integral using the simpson's one third rule and we have to take step length equals to 1 to sabse pehle hum kya karenge we will find out the direct integration because we have to find out the error so 0 to 4 x to the power 4 plus 10 dx this is simply uh if we evaluate Uh, अगर हम डायरेक्टली ये वाला करते हैं तो x टू दी पावर ऑफ फाइव अपॉन फाइव प्लस टेन एक्स जीरो से लेके फोर तक तो इसमें जो आंसर आ रहा है वो है टू फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट एट का नाउ अगर हम सिमसन्स वन थर्ड रूल लगाएं तो सिमसन्स बाय यूजिंग द सिमसन्स वन थर्ड रूल वी हैव x देन y initial value is 0 then we have 1 we have 2 we have 3 and we have 4 so how many intervals we are having one interval 2 3 and 4 there are four intervals now what will be the value of y for x is equals to 0 it is simply 10 now for x is equals to 1 y would be equals to 11 then 26 91 and 266 Now, if you remember the Simpson's one-third rule, which I wrote just now, so according to Simpson's one-third rule, so x zero to x n y dx this is equals to h by three y zero plus four times y one plus y three. Plus y five up till so on y of n minus one plus two times y two plus y four plus so on y of n minus two plus y of n. So in this formula, the value of h h here is simply we can see the value of h is one. So it will be one by three. Now y zero y zero is simply ten plus Four times y of one, it is eleven. Y of three, it is ninety-one. So four times eleven plus ninety-one. Okay, plus two times y two is twenty-six and y four is two sixty-six. Okay. Ah, uh, just one minute. What is n? n is the number of intervals that is 4 here 1 2 3 4 4 so here we have to 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 take only up to 4 minus 2, that is 2. Matlab, par hum sirf jo value likhenge, wo 26 wali hi value likhenge. y of n will be added separately y of n that is y of 4 is 266 so 266 will be added separately and when we will solve it we will get the values 2 uh, 45 Three three. So by Simpson we are getting two forty five point three three. By normal method we are getting the value as two forty four point eight. So the error would be 
जीरो पॉइंट फाइव थ्री सो एरर इज कमिंग आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव थ्री नाउ नेक्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट विद द न्यूमेरिकल सोल्यूशन ऑफ ऑर्डनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेजन एंड दीज ऑर्डनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेजन आर एक्चुअली सॉल्व बाई थ्री मेथड्स वन इज द यूलर्स मेथड ओके अदर इज मॉडिफाइड यूलर्स मेथड एंड वी हैव द रुंगे कुत्ता मेथड रुंगे कुत्ता मेथड and this is actually of the fourth order okay so what we are doing in the euler's method i will simply write down the formula that is y of i plus 1 is equals to y of i plus h times f of x i comma y i <coughs> okay so this is actually the general formula for the euler's method For example, by using the Euler's method, we have to find out the value of y corresponding to the value x is equals to one. Given that dy by dx is equals to x plus y, and y is equals to one when x is equals to zero. Now, what we will do is we will take let n is equals to ten. Okay, so we will take ten divisions. We will have x. y x plus y that is dy by dx then we will use y of i plus 1 is equals to y of i plus hf x i comma y i okay so the first is when x is equals to 0 the value of y is 1 so 0 plus 1 will give you 1 so y of i plus 1 that is new y Would be equals to y of i i keeping i as zero, so this would be y of zero, which is equals to one plus h h is equals to zero point one. H is the step size or the step difference. N is equals to ten means number of. We will take zero zero point one zero point two zero point three zero point four zero point five zero point six zero point seven zero point eight zero point nine and At last, we will take one point zero. Okay, so corresponding to zero point one, the value of y would be here. We are getting one point one zero. So we will keep this value as one point one zero here, and by adding these two values, we are getting one point two zero. Okay, so now the value of y, we will keep i is equals to this is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, this is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is the tenth iteration. ठीक है? तो this is i is equals to zero, i is equals to one, i equals to two, and so on. So here, what we will be obtain? We will obtain one point one zero. That is y old plus H is zero point one into value of the function at x i comma y i, so it would be one point two zero. So this is one point two two. So similarly.